Okay, today I'm gonna build the the 48 volt, the 12 volt uh, buck transformer, uh, 12 volt lighting system. Okay, this is just in case you have a 48 volt system, but you want to put, let's say, lights bypassing the inverter. Okay, in other words, lights are gonna go on without the inverter. So let's say you have a 48 volt system. Uh, this also works with 24 volts and, you know, 24 volt, 48 volt, you know. Uh, if you have a 12 volt, you don't have to do none of this, okay? Uh, but if you have a 48 volt system or a 20 volt, 4 volt system, and you want to set up 12 volt lighting, why 12 volt lighting? Some people will say, uh, you could get 24 volt uh, light bulbs, you could get 48 volt light bulbs. Uh, but let's uh, face facts, uh, here we're preppers. And uh, I know as a prepper that pretty much everything in a car is 12 volts, okay? Including the lights on the car, okay? So in a really bad, bad, bad emergency, nuclear, whatever happened, or uh, super duper aftermath, uh, collapse of everything, uh, this will work with even car lights, okay? So... That's why a 12 volt system, okay? It's the ultimate SHTF system. Lewis out. Okay? Uh, if you're doing this system, you know, with 12 volt lighting, any regular AC switch will work. Uh, any light fixture will work. The only thing that's gonna change with the system is the light bulbs. This is where 48 volts is going to hook up to, okay? Positive, negative. And these two here is where the 12 volts going to come out, okay? So we're going to take these two. And we're going to stick those in through here. The only thing is I got to make this a little bit bigger so I can hook it up to the switch. So let me do that now. It's going to be uh, hands through, walk through, okay? Uh, this is going to be baby electrician uh, 101, okay? The top of the switch where you could read this one's a hubble very good uh switch this one down here is where you hook up your first positive okay so this yellow one goes down here yeah, the first positive goes here and then this is the cutoff here and then uh this pot then this one right here that's going to be po also positive once you hit this here this is positive now and that's going to go to the positive of your light bulb so let's Hook up the first positive down, down here, which is the hot cable. Okay, that one right there. Okay, that's where the positive goes. Remember, this is positive and negative, but of the 12 volts. 48 volts goes in through here, positive and negative, and then it comes out positive and negative, 12 volts. Uh, don't make uh, the newbie mistake of hooking this one here, whatever, that's just like dumb. Okay, so now we're gonna hook up uh, the light bulb. Okay, this is like really simple. I took and I passed through here, uh, you know, uh, hot and neutral, okay? Uh, the black and white, but everybody knows that hot, or in this case, positive because it's DC, is going to be the black. This could you could do this also red if you you know if you want to go strict strict DC, okay. But uh, you could get away with this, okay. So loose out, okay. So look, the yellow one's the positive, okay. It's going and it connects to the bottom of the switch. Then you hit the switch. Now the electricity jumps, boop to here, goes through here, and now you have positive here okay that's how simple it is this is like really baby stuff okay so now we're gonna hook up the light bulb okay i'm gonna do this one more time from the yellow okay yellow is the positive that's now 12 volts goes to the bottom of the switch then you hit the switch up electricity goes up through here goes to the positive it has a white sleeve but yes this is the negative cable there's a black cable right there 
uh, there's the white. Now, it uses up the electricity. Now that current that's left over has to go back, right? So it goes back, it's the negative current. It's going back. And now it connects to the black cable. To this one right here, this white cable now connects to that black cable there, okay? Yeah, it seems weird, but this is positive with uh, AC cable, so, but that's it, okay? That's how simple this is. We're gonna try this out, because uh, I have 48 volts, because I have a 48 volt system. Uh, now I will tape this up, because we're gonna, uh, we always, uh, we don't get lazy around here, okay? Especially when it comes to electricity, okay? We're gonna tape that up, put it in there. I'm not gonna put the cover, because uh, I have an old cover, I want to put a newer cover for this. There's a new switch. Uh, yeah, I'm a stickler when it comes to shit like that. So, uh, let me tape it up and put it back in the box. Okay. The system's all done. I'm going to hook it up. Positive. So, just so you can see. It's 12, 12, 12, 12. That's positive here. And this is negative here. Okay. And this is now hooked up. Uh, let me go get a 12 volt light bulb. Before I hook this up, 12 volt light bulbs come in different uh, shapes, sizes. Okay, these little ones come. Okay, then the one that looks like the normal one you buy at the store. This one, believe it or not, this uh, works up to all the way up to 48 volts. Okay, this light bulb works all the way up to 48 volts. Uh, then we have the glass light bulb that you would swear it's a 120 volt light bulb. Okay, look, that's glass. Okay, so we're gonna start off with the 48 light bulb. Okay, the 48 volt. Okay, we have the 48 volt light bulb hooked up. Let's hit the switch. And there you go. Now that's 48 volts. So, hey, maybe this does not work, right? So let's try out a uh, 12 volt. Okay, now we're gonna try out this bulb. Remember, all these are 12 volt, okay? Now look how nice the system is. Let's hit the switch, look. on all right hooked up so you can see there's no tricks i'm going to disconnect here light bulbs out hook back up light bulbs on that one is pure 12 volts okay pure 12 volts okay now we're going to try out the glass light bulb remember this is 12 volts it looks like a 120 but it's 12 volts people there you go. Buck transformer, stepping down power to 12 volts, powers the cutoff switch, powers the bulb. Okay? There's no, uh, this is so simple to do. Uh, now, you know, let's be, uh, this is just a straight up system. Uh, this from here, it, you should put a little uh, breaker. One of these, okay? If you hook up one of these little things, this there's a five amp in here, but you could, you know, let's say you did the calculations and you put multiple bulbs. Uh, now three amps will power a lot of bulbs. Believe it or not, these are AAA plus. Okay, so this literally does not take any energy whatsoever, okay? Uh, these light bulbs will run forever you can leave this on day and night day and night day and night and it will not drain your batteries okay so that's why i like this system as you can see there is no inverter here at all the only thing we did put was this little buck transformer to take 48 volts right and turn it into 12 volts to power 12 volt light bulbs now there are special bulbs, like this one is one of the special ones that will go up from, it'll go, it'll be powered from 12 to 48. Now there's also bulbs that go from 12 to 60. 
okay? They're more expensive, but they exist. Now, the reason I say 12 volts is because you could find light bulbs uh, and bulbs, uh, let's say after a nuclear event, you're the only one around, you still have some of this crap, yeah, you could turn on a car light bulb. So imagine a Honda Civic light bulb there and you're actually doing this, okay? And 12 volt batteries, you're going to find everywhere, okay? That's why I set up my system this way. Lewis, out.